Ah. Look like hell. All right, I just woke up. Okay, if coffee, whatever. Whatever. Skin, scouts drive drive me crazy. struggle. The American healthcare system. On Gimpy American's journey through the healing process. Oh man, oh, I look tired, I look dopey, but uh, it's probably because I am tired and dopey. So there. Um, didn't really sleep that great. Oh, okay, anyway, today's day 23 my stay. Day 23 of my healing process. It's Friday, April the 18th. It's the year of our Lord, 2014. Oh. So, uh, what to report? Things are progressing, but they're progressing very slowly. I wish they would progress faster. I was kind of bummed out yesterday. I think it was starting to get to me. All the laying in bed, the waiting. I long. Les Stroud says, survival is about moving forward, going home. So that's what I keep thinking about. I keep thinking about being at home, calling myself a nice, strong, really strong drink, sipping that mofo, Smoking a cig. Maybe smoking some pot. I don't know. Maybe doing some other kinds of illegal chemicals. And just fucking chilling out, relaxing. Getting back to my radio show that I do Monday through Friday, 2 to 4th Central, on RevereRadioNetwork.com and also FlagshipRadio.com. The name of that show is The Rant. I highly recommend both of those stations. They're pretty kick-ass. And uh, you can catch all the archives of my earlier radio shows over there at RevereRadioNetwork.com. It's called The Rant. Uh, there are tons of them there, free for the taking. As far as... <laughs> Developments go. Things are progressing. Like I said, very slowly. They're actually allow me. They're actually allowing me to sit on my ass now for limited periods of time. I get to sit on the side of the bed, so that's fucking exciting. And uh, still uh, working out a lot from bed. That's doing a pretty good job of uh, keeping my upper body strength, or keeping s some of my upper body strength anyway, while I lay here in bed, as opposed to just wasting away. Um, but the newest development is they're telling me sometime fairly soon they're gonna uh, actually let me start getting in my uh, chair again be cool because that way I'll actually be able to move around and stuff outside of this room and I'll have other things to look at besides these four walls 
and the ceiling. So yesterday I was just kind of bummed, man, because uh, like I said, I was really tired. Uh, last couple days I had trouble sleeping. <sighs> Even though I was really tired, I was just kind of laying here staring at the ceiling. I was too tired to even like read. So, or, or write for that matter. So, I basically just laid here all day staring like an idiot. Um, what else to report? Uh, yeah, I got a call from my buddy McCain yesterday I think I he's supposed to come up today or sometime this weekend <sighs> not quite sure which uh, anyway I think what uh, got some pretty good sleep though last night they adjusted my meds a little bit so I took a nice uh, volume it was a Valium and Hydrocodone cocktail. And, um, shit put me right to sleep. So, uh, that was beautiful. Now I'm on a Valium. Well, I don't, I think it's too soon to kick in yet. I just, I'm just still kind of tired from waking up, but I'm on a Valium and, uh, Xanax cocktail to try to keep me all tipped up so I don't turn into an asshole. No, I don't know. I think they're saying this is almost becoming standard now with long term patients. They just kind of they put them on a little bit of Xanax because it's kind of a it's kind of a shitty situation all the way around, you know. Um. So anyway, I'm a little jealous, yeah, because those of you, you know, are not within the inner circle here, or, you know, my immediate friends, my immediate group of friends, or whatever, or the Missourians, or what have you. We had this thing uh, in Missouri, Herman, Missouri, to be exact, this weekend, every year. It's called the Shelby Fest. And it's basically, you know, we're a bunch of uh, old middle-aged white guys with their Shelby Mustangs like to converge upon Herman, Missouri and uh, just uh, have a big festival, show off each other's cars. It, and it's weird because, yeah, these guys are basically like all old middle-aged white guys, man, but uh, they go fucking crazy. Mardi Gras for guys in Geritol. Oh, man. but anyway, so my my buddies are going down there this weekend, so I'm kind of jealous. But I think they said, you know, uh, one of my buddies is coming up from Mississippi to go. So I think they said they were going to drop by here, so, you know, either on the way there or you know after it was over. <laughs> oh, yeah, coffee up. Uh, so, um, I don't even know if I want to order breakfast yet. I think I'm going to put it off. So, as far as any other updates, progress, or what have you, none. We're still looking at about three to four weeks, I think. Mm. And that's probably a conservative estimate. So, that being said, it's Charles Lanson. Coming at you from uh, St. Charles, the beautiful heartland of these good old United States of America, right at the confluence of the mighty Mississippi and the majestic Missouri rivers. St. Charles, Missouri. Well, I guess I'm not really at the confluence. 
I'm actually right. This hospital is pretty much on the banks of the uh, mighty or the majestic Missouri River. But uh, like I said, not a whole lot to report. I think today uh, the plan of action. These therapists have been coming in here and uh, you know trying to keep me somewhat busy, but. I have my own weights here because, uh, you know, you can't wait for therapy to come and help make. St I have learned in these types of situations. If you want to maintain your strength while you're in bed, if you wait for therapy, you're going to be fucking screwed. You're going to end up in a fucking nursing home and because they're just too swamped. They don't have time to spend, uh, you know. So, but, yeah, my, that's what, you know, I brought my own weights from home and stuff. So, I plan on doing some working out. And, uh, doing some reading, writing some more. That's right, I'm, I'm writing this whole story down as well. This Lamsana Care story, this tale of mine, starting at day one, you know, from when I first entered the hospital all, all the way up until, you know, I pl plan on keep on writing until, uh, you know, until I. My plan is to sort of end everything, uh, like the last show or whatever, when I'm actually at home, imbibing, having a drink, whatever. Um, anyway, so I'll be doing some more writing on that. Yeah, if you want to check out excerpts from what I've been writing so far, Grant, bear in mind, before you're too highly critical of it, Oh, you know, this is all pretty rough. It's not a rough draft, but it, it's a rough draft that I skimmed over and just sort of correct the spelling and stuff, so... Somewhat. So, it's a semi-rough draft, but if you want to check out excerpts from it, from what I've written so far, uh, you can check out my blog, which is uh, charleslamson.blogspot.com charleslamson.blogspot dot com and uh, like I said even uh, as soon as I get up, as soon as I sign off here I plan on doing a little writing and uh, there on who, who the hell knows what will happen yeah I think like I said I think my cousin David's supposed to show up sometime today I know the therapist will be in here to bother me at some point I can eat a shave. Again, so I'll be doing that. Anywho, this is Charles Lanson signing off. Just wanted to let everyone know I'm still alive. And I know I sound a little, uh, I don't know, not really animated, but I, I just kind of woke up. So I figured I'd get this shit out of the way right off the bat. I'm still, uh, uh, so, uh, anyway, this is Lance Sonicare, Charles Lanson, signing off. <laughs>